Hello everybody, it's me, Tonic TZW, and my is this a lot of hard work getting all these arena replays ready for you. There's lots of talk and lots of edit and lots of making placeholders. So please do be sure to show your appreciation for the channel by hitting that like button on the video, smash the subscribe button, and also if you're feeling happy, leave me a comment. Tell me how happy you are. This is one of my first games that I played in season 15 of the arena and I was going in solo for most of it. I like my British destroyers so I thought I would give the Jervis a go. Dipping my toes, lots of people play different ships and looking here the one ship that I don't want to be on the receiving end of is the Blawitschka B. The Mars, mm, but the Akazuki top board, not too concerned about reason I chose the Jervis is I've got uh, Tyrewit at 16.4, we're also running Eric Beer, and we've got Sims on us as well for a few extra hit points. So, a very adaptable um, British destroyer. To be quite frank, um, I think they are the most flexible, they're not necessarily the hardest hitting, but I thought I would take it out and give it a spin, because I'm confident in playing it, although at times in this game I don't always make the smartest moves. Um, we are all prone to making mistakes every now and then, and uh, I had a 45% win rate across 60 games in Arena, which when I was doing the majority of it solo, I don't think is too shabby. But the boosters in this one are reload boosters, and although I've got quite a decent reload on these guns, making it ever the more quicker is always going to make it better. So I'm pinging them up, telling the Shan horse that's with me, um, where my closest target is. It looks like the destroyer that spawned with this guy. Um, I think he's called Broncos Fan or something like that. And I did ask the um, the woman in the Amazon device about who the Broncos rivals are, and apparently it is the Raiders. So let's go and put a raid on this guy. Um, I don't know who is the best team. The Broncos are the Raiders. Don't follow American football. Don't even follow English football. No interest to be whatsoever. Formula One, on the other hand, that's a different ball game. But we're pushing out, we're sweeping up these reload boosters as we go. And we're looking at what this guy is doing. He's a very slow battleship. He's still just outside of um, torpedo range. But we're chasing them around the map. I know that there's a destroyer out to my front as well. Getting closer getting ever so close we do get other teams spotted as they're pushing in towards the cap 2 and i'm looking and i'm not going to get these torpedoes on but we sweep up another booster and then we decide on what we're going to do now you'll notice i've run my sonar here and that's because going around that corner i do not want to sail in to a set of prospective torpedoes because I would have torpedoed a corner. I'm waiting for my Shan Horst to catch up with me because I want to be able to give him some cover if I can. But in chasing one ship, he's also putting himself broadside to other ships in this game. There is the Mars. He is pushing straight for the cap. Thankfully, my sonar is running because I really do imagine there's torpedoes coming across that way. And with having my sonar running, I'm also screening for those for my Scharnhorst as he follows me around. Pushing ever further out, letting that Mars push into the cap, making sure that the island blocks him from me. And now we're going to try and pick up a kill. We're doing the dash, we've got 10 torpedoes, 2 salvos of 5, we're going to overlap those in case he turns in, and now we're going to push in and look for this Mars 2, while we've got a few seconds remaining on our sonar. But the Mars has got longer sonar range than me, and I get bumped. I turn, too late, I hit the island, 
If you've ever seen Pulp Fiction, there's a scene where Marcellus Wallace is locked in a basement across a chest with a ball gag in his mouth, and that is about the position that I find myself in right now. North Carolina takes the tops, but I'm guessing that Butch gave me just enough on that beach to save me from the gimp. The Mars is now roaming free, though. My Sean Horst is sailing away. He took a lot of torpedoes from the left flank there. They came through. I don't know if it was the Mars or the Akatsuki. I think more likely the Akatsuki. So I'm thinking that I need to push and support this guy and hopefully give him will to rebuild and heal him. But no, there we go. It was indeed the Akatsuki and he goes out to a flood. He could have just stuck close to me. And he would have had that will. But I'm guessing he panicked and ran. So it is one against five. I like those odds. <laughs> I'm laughing because I didn't know how this was going to pan out at the time. But I know now how the game ends. So let's push and let's play. The biggest risk to me, I think, out here is the Blewitchka B. But given it's a B ship, it doesn't necessarily mean that it is somebody that knows how to play destroyers. Because any random can drop a ship from a crate and have no clue how to play it. I know, because I've got ships that I'm absolutely hopeless to play in that either came out of a free crate. Um, or on one of the few occasions that I've spent money on this game, I've dropped it out of a crate. Didn't necessarily want the ship, but hey, that is literally gambling in World of Warships Legends. So we know the Akatsuki is out here. We know the cap is being turned. It's not currently being contested. Five ships in the game, non-spotted. What do we do? We are at some point going to have to push in and contest on this one. But we don't want to do it too soon. There's something in the smoke there. There is the Akatsuki. He's already got, I think, at least one kill to his name, potentially two. But do we let him get a third? That's the thing. He's firing his guns. He could be spotted. There is his buddy in the battleship. It's Ignaz now. There is another ship pushing in. This looks like it is going to turn into one of these big brawly Royal Rumbles with torpedoes, secondaries and main guns flying all over the damn shop. But let's get into the fight in a smart way. Akatsuki takes out the Blewitchka B with torpedoes. He has actually done me a huge favour here because those guys fighting each other has knocked down his hit points and given that he's fired his torpedoes, that means that I can push a little bit and let's see what we can do about him. The great thing about the British destroyers is these little smokes, very short smokes, but running smogathon you can overlap them. I'm spotted by the Akatsuki. I know he's here. I've popped and run my smoke. He's on, what, one third health, one quarter health? Bang, there's a shot, cap reset. That keeps the cap from turning too quickly. Gnais now is looking in the other direction. We get a fire onto the Akatsuki, but he damage controls it. So we try to get a fire on that Gnais now at the same time, but he's already burning. Drops out of sight. There's another set of torpedoes from the Akatsuki. I'm not in that smoke screen. My sonar's running. I've got plenty of early warning of these things coming towards me. So we're going to swing around. I get spotted again. I can't see what is spotting me, but I'm now just far enough away. The cap is still being turned. This is about jockeying for position. And there we go. I think it was an Agato taken out by the Gnais now. It is me versus a double team. Now the Gnais now cannot be missed. And I actually think that this guy is going to stay on the cap and run into the islands. I forget that there is a little gap there. But we sneak a shot off as we dip behind the island. 
ba bomb we get a cap reset we blind fire another shot he knows where we are now and i'm hoping that little shot might have drawn him in and made him turn in to those torpedoes because 10 torpedo salvo looks good but he obviously knows that they're coming he has moved out of position of support that gives me the opportunity to run down this akatsuki i know he is literally one shot i am located there we go he's up he's going for it he panics and smokes bob he's gone mr gnize now right now is probably realizing that he is a goldfish in a shark tank i literally have every single hit point still We've got two kills. Red team with the Gnais now have got this one in the bag. They've actually got four kills. All that Gnais now has to do is try and contest this cap. He can't sail away because in less than two minutes, I get the victory. The question is, is he going to run or is he going to fight? And even though we've got this cap, we aren't going to sit and let him bring the battle to us. We are going to continue to fight for this cap. I'm looking around, head on a swivel. For those that have sort of watched a few of these videos, you'll notice that... Um, I don't use the, the zoom out overview. It's not something on a controller that I've been able to um, get used to. If I could have a separate programmable button on my PlayStation 5 controller that I could lock that to, I would be much happier. But um, I think it's controller preset 3 is the one I use. And it's the one that I'm most comfortable and familiar with. But we drop a top onto that guy now. He has immediately damage con that one. And now I'm going to play a game of whack-a-mole. We're just watching to make sure we can get around this island. There's the guy now. He's dipping behind an island. We get a shot, shot across the top. We drop detection. He now knows exactly where I am. Double cap reset. He knows that he either has to take that cap or prevent me from going into it and they will take the win on kills but knowing battleship captains he is not going to sail in a straight line so we offset those torpedoes a little bit we're waiting for the torpedo reload to come back up which it will do in a few seconds but at the same time we're watching where his guns are pointing and we're going to snipe a shot off but he disappears from sight behind the island so we launch the second set of torps we're moving forward looking to pick them up through this next gap but we take the kill we take the win and we pick up a solo warrior at the same time so that's not bad a first blood and a solo warrior and i think that was the second game that i played so yeah so we're up to eleven thousand. we picked up um, just under eight thousand on that so as you can see the first game wasn't amazing twenty thousand or two thousand and eighty three base xp um that akatsuki played really well with three kills he would have had a pretty solid game and uh i'd like to thank you all for tuning in and watching this one i've got a couple more to do and then i will dump the whole playlist which you will be able to click on here arena season 15 and watch all of my favorite games from this season i've been tonic don't forget smash the like smash the subscribe and until next time take care and goodbye